Welcome back to the show. Today we're making picadillo. Now, this is a uh, Latin American, Spanish inspired dish that's now quite common here in the Philippines. The way the Philippine one differs from how picadillo is cooked in, you know, say Mexico, the Caribbean, parts of Latin America, they'll normally use like raisins and capers in their, in their picadillo dish. Um, and that probably reflects, you know, the better availability of those ingredients, you know, a few hundred years ago. Whereas here in the Philippines, it tends to be a, a more uh, savory dish uh, and it gets its sweetness more from just like peas, carrots. And Filipinos like that a bit more substance to their picadillo by the addition of uh, quail eggs. Now we are going to try and get a little bit of extra sweetness in our picadillo today using um, some banana chips and that will also add some crunch and texture to our Philippine picadillo as well. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. I've, uh, I've, I've heard you can uh, slip a bit of banana into this dish and it, and it tastes quite good so we're going to give that a go. So we'll get started uh, with a little bit of olive oil. Dito sa isang kawale. And the ko kong ating bawang. I love when all the ingredients are pre-chopped, makes my job easy. So we have our bawang, we have our uh, sibuyas. I always like to use a halo-halo of uh, the white and the red onions. And we'll just put that on a high heat and saute that quickly. Okay, so I've just given my uh, onion and uh, garlic a little bit of time to uh, saute. And once it starts to turn translucent, the uh, will natin ating mga tomatoes. You notice everything today is very finely chopped. So from the carrots to the peas to the potatoes, <clears throat> we have deliberately gone everything small. That's how picadillo normally will look. You know, it's the ground meat and then lots of small particles of the different uh, vegetables, potato, tomato, and so forth. <clears throat> now my tomatoes are now softening, releasing their juices, so we'll put our uh, ground beef in next. I'm using about 500 grams today. But of course, for the full recipe, check out uh, mapotingcooking.com at the link below and you can grab the whole recipe there. And while we wait for this to cook, if you haven't already subscribed to the show, just click here and never miss another episode of Food and Fun from the Philippines with me. We're teaching you how to cook fresh, uh, inspiring Filipino food from right here in the Philippines. So, Chocolate and adding carne dito sa kawale. We've browned our mince in the pan uh, for the non Tagalog speakers out there. And the next thing we're going to do is get in the, the rest of our um, vegetables, such as the carrot and the potatoes. I'm going to get my potatoes out with a slotted spoon. They've been sitting in water so they don't uh, brown. Okay, next we'll go with uh, a couple of bay leaves. I have some fish sauce here. We have some tomato paste. I've got some beef stock here. Now you can boil down some, uh, you know, beef bones or whatever to get your stock. Here I've used a powdered one, but you know, I always recommend if you're getting your powdered stock, look for something that's uh, actually got real beef in it and not too much chemicals. And we're going to put in about uh, a cup of uh, beef stock. Give that tomato paste a, a stir through the mixture. And we'll now stew this for about 10-15 minutes uh, until our uh, potatoes and carrots are cooked and the, the sauce starts to reduce. So, naiga na ang ating picadillo, medyo toyo ang consistency. 
At this point we can add in the rest of our ingredients, so we'll put in some green peas. I'm just using canned ones here. If you have fresh, even better, but they can be hard to get in the, the tropics. <coughs> and next we'll put in our quail eggs. At about 12 pieces. That's really starting to look like the classic Philippine picadillo now. And at this point, you can taste your, uh, your dish. And just add your salt and pepper to taste. And you just want to let that simmer for about five more minutes, uh, just so the quail eggs are warm, the peas have been cooked lightly in the, in the broth, and then this is ready to serve. Okay, so this is ready to, uh, to plate up now. I'm just going to do it on this nice uh, yellow plate here with some rice. If you're going to take a picture of your food before you eat it, you can uh, clean up the plate a little. And if you do make this at home, make sure you uh, take a photo and send it to us at the Mapotin Cooking Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. I'm just going to finish this with a little bit of, uh, of shallots. piece of parsley and a few banana chips. Okay. These are so good. So there we go. That's a classic Filipino uh, picadillo. You got the quail eggs, you got the beef, hint of parsley, shallots, the sweetness at the end coming from our um, crispy bananas. Probably shouldn't mess this one up, but what the hell, we'll give it a try. All right, here we go. So this does taste absolutely amazing. The banana really does add a lot. Don't neglect to put that in. I mean, that's why I think the Latin Americans would put in, um, you know, the raisins, just to get those little pops of sweetness going on through the dish. Um, but, but, but seriously good. I'm gonna get a piece with the quail egg next and uh, just try that out. Yeah, <laughs> even with the egg, that works. That's delicious, really easy to make. <clears throat> it's hard to get this dish wrong. So we're teaching you how to make, you know, simple, fun, Filipino food at home or here on the Putin Cooking. So like the show, subscribe to the channel, check out the Facebook page. I'd love to see your pictures if you make anything like this at home. Uh, and you can always drop us a, a note either in the comment section below or just write me an email. Always love to hear from people uh, who are watching the show wherever you are in the world. I'm Chris Urbano and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.